Welcome to the Hydraulic Press Challenge, everybody. Take it from me, this episode is gonna be flat out awesome. <laughs> Couldn't agree more, Orange. Now the rules are simple. There are no rules. We're just gonna put different stuff under the hydraulic press and watch it get squished. Sounds like a real piece of cake. Or should I say, pancake. <laughs> yeah! Okay, there is one rule. Only I get to push the button. Okay, okay, keep your pants off. What should we flatten next? Hmm, I'm thinking this banana. <laughs> Look at that banana, yes sirree. Definitely a real banana. Orange. Press the button, Pear, quickly. Don't think about it. Don't look closely at the banana. Orange. Just push the button. No, dude, your banana is obviously a stick of TNT painted yellow. Nah, -uh. it's a banana. Here, bite into it. Dude. Okay, since Orange forfeited his turn, it's back to me. Let's go with this ice cream cone. Come on, ice cream. Stay strong. You cone do it. Ooh, guess it wasn't meant to be. <laughs> Next up, a coffee mug. Let's see if it can handle the pressure. <laughs> well, what'd you think of that one, Orange? It was brutal. <laughs> nah. Seriously though, I liked it a latte. <laughs> Stop. Words cannot espresso. Orange, oh, your turn. Go ahead and pick something. Okay, I wanna put this cherry on the hydraulic press. A cherry? I figured you'd pick something bigger. Something big? Nah, imagine the mess. Cleanup would be the pits. <laughs> All right, put it under the, hey, wait a minute. What's that hissing? Um. Orange, turn that cherry 90 degrees. B -b 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 now. Okay, can we still press it? No, <sighs> but we can press this lollipop. Cool by me, I'm a sucker for a good squishing. <laughs> what do you think? Should we squish this basket of raspberries? Heck yeah, this is my jam. <laughs> we now interrupt your regularly scheduled pressing for some characters who wish to test their metal against the hydraulic press. First up, Squash. Come on, Squash, we believe in you. Thank you. Okay, get ready. It's getting close, Squash. Squash? Where'd he go? I don't know. He was just here, but now he's <laughs> Yeah! I knew Squash couldn't be Squash. <laughs> well, it was an expensive lesson, but I'm glad we learned it. Fortunately, we have plenty of backup hydraulic presses. We have extras? Very impressive. <laughs> nah. Okay, next person who wants a crack is Zoom. I believe in you, Zoom. You can do it. <laughs> Extreme! Zoom! Ah, oh, no, Zoom. I swear, Zoom, you will be redeemed. For five cents, the recycling facility. <laughs> ah. And finally, we have Durian. Whoa, blast from the past. No, 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 I'm Durian the second. I'm here to avenge my father's brutal murder from years ago. I'm here to prove myself. Been toughing up my already super tough skin. So let's do this. He, he might actually do it. The hydraulic press is giving it all it can. Wow. Tough luck! <laughs> <sighs> okay, Orange, I'm gonna give you one last chance to press something, okay? Something that isn't TNT, because we are not blowing up the kitchen today. So, what do you want? I thought long and hard about this, and I want the hydraulic press. Are you saying you wanna try and withstand the hydraulic press? Dude, don't do it. If Durian the second couldn't handle it, you don't stand a chance. No, hydraulic press. Huh? You pitted one hydraulic press against another? That, that's the only match for a hydraulic press. Another hydraulic press. That's absolutely right, Pear. You hit it right on the button. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yo, 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 yo's. 
<laughs> Orange and Pear here with another super insane no challenge video. Wow, the exploding watermelon challenge. Woohoo! Explosions, my favorite. This challenge is a bit gruesome if you ask me, but we've been given the go ahead to do it, so. Over here, we've got a thousand rubber bands, and we're gonna put them around a watermelon until it explodes. How many rubber bands do you think it'll take, Orange? I think it'll take 600. And I think I'll take more rubber bands than you got. Speak of the devil, here's our watermelon, who actually volunteered for this. First name's Brick, cause I'm built like a brick. Last name's Watermelon, cause I'm a watermelon. Bring on these puny little rubber bands. I've been training my whole life for this moment, and now I'm gonna break the watermelon world record. Wow, a watermelon world record? What are you talking about? <laughs> I'm talking about 888 rubber bands, boys. Rock Watermelon, the greatest, strongest watermelon who ever lived. Rest in peace. He was only able to take 887 rubber bands before he exploded into the history books. In case you're wondering, his first name was Rock, because he was built like a rock. His last name was Watermelon, because he's We a get it! So 888 is the magic number. Let's get the counter on screen. Let's do this thing! Yeah! Here comes rubber band numero uno! Feeling good, feeling great. 888 is in my sights. Okay, but you've got a long way to go. Bring on the second one. Here we go! Numero dos! Oh yeah! That's snug, but I'm feeling good. Yeah, bring on the next one. I... Oh! Ah! Um... What? I... I just don't underband. <laughs> Seriously? Brick Watermelon only lasted for two rubber bands? Let's go to the replay! <laughs> For 888 rubber bands was a bit of a stretch. <laughs> uh, well, now I don't know what to do. We have all these rubber bands lying around and, and they will not go to waste. My first name is Sturdy because... We get it! Sturdy, are you seriously going to try for a world record moments after your buddy exploded after just two? I most certainly am, all right? This world record is my destiny. I don't know, dude. Maybe wait and try another day. These rubber bands might be faulty or something. Nah, they're good. I put 887 of them around my waist just now while you were talking. Orange, what are you doing? Keeping myself from being bored. Duh. But that's... that... That's so dangerous! You're one away from breaking the most sacred world record in food history! I gotta catch up! Give me a rubber band! Here's Uno! <laughs> okay, but you might not want There's to- There's no time to discuss! I must put on 888 rubber bands immediately before the orange beats me to the- ah! I have so many questions right now! Let's go to the replay! <laughs> I just don't get it. How can you hold more rubber bands than these super buff watermelons? Do you feel uncomfortable? No. Well, sorta. Here, give me a second. <laughs> nope, feel great now. <laughs> uh, did someone call for buff watermelons? Oh, here we go. First name's Buff, cuz uh... We get at. Where are all the rubber bands at? We want a shot at the world record. We? Yeah, all of us. Well, it's not gonna happen, cause Orange is wearing all of the rubber bands. We'll see about that. Huh? Ah, hey, get away! Hey, uh, that's mine! Got one! Hey, me too! Me three! On three! Everyone put your rubber bands on, okay? One! Orange! Yeah? Two! Get out of here! Three! Oh! Ah! Hey there, fruit lovers! It's hot sauce challenge time! Little Apple and I are gonna test our metal against a variety of hot sauces. You ready, little guy? Ready as I'll ever be, I guess! Well, I don't normally do spicy! <laughs> well, this first sauce won't be much of a problem. This here is Grandpa Lemon's Sleepy Time Hot Sauce. It's a level one on the spicy scale. Put a little of that on your chicken wings there. What do you think? Mmm! It's good! Not too spicy! Uh. 
<laughs> Big burp for such a little guy. Yeah, this hot sauce ain't nothing in terms of spiciness. Is that sweat I see on your forehead? Me? Oh, no. No, 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 no. I'm fine. I'm super tough when it comes to spiciness. Let's kick it up a notch and do the next one, shall we? Sure thing. This one was suggested to us by Baby Karen. It's called Come On Baby Light My Fire Hot Sauce. <laughs> I like the label. And I like the hot sauce. Um, Grapefruit, are you standing in a pool of your own sweat? Of course not. This is a meal level three spice, bro. And I told you, spice does not affect me. What do you think of this sauce? Um. <laughs> Sorry, chicken wings make me burp. That was kind of cool. There was a little smoke with that one. These must be getting pretty hot. Not that I can tell because, again, I'm impervious to spice. And this next one shouldn't be an issue. It's called Orange You Glad You Had That Water Handy Hot Sauce. This is a level five spice. Good old orange and his buns. <laughs> you want a glass of water? Nope. I'm going to do this one unaided. No water. Oh, totally. Me too. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> Spicy. <laughs> Bro, you just went full dragon on me. If I had eyebrows, you would have singed them off. You're telling me that was only a little spicy? Yep, yep, yep. Go ahead and try it. Oh, yeah. Sure. Uh, I'm not scared. Mm, delicious. <laughs> Are you crying? I'm not sure. I think I might actually be bleeding from my eyeballs. Well, we've got one more sauce to try. There's nothing above a level five. Apparently there is now. A level six. Six. That's never been done! Until now, I give you Ghost Pepper Apocalypse! You scared? I actually am not sure. I might have just fiddled myself, but that could also just be a pool of sweat. Or blood. Here we go! Wait, bro, you said chicken wings always make you burp, right? Right. So put it on something else! Something that doesn't make you burp, you know? Oh, totally great idea! Yeah, who would have known what would have happened if I put it on chicken wings? <laughs> yeah, I'll just put it on this burrito! A burrito? Yep. Um, oh, 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 that is pretty spicy. Huh. A lot of beans in that burrito? Well, I'm sure. It is a burrito. Huh. Okay, then. Well, here goes nothing. Grapefruit's gonna chow down on some ghost pepper. <laughs> Little echo! Aim for the skylight! Aim for the skylight! case of cotton mouth. <laughs> Are you done now? Yeah, just gonna grab something to drink. Oh, maybe <laughs> some ice water. Great, see you later. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Why would you do that? Well, duh, everybody's doing it. To themselves, everyone's doing it to themselves. I'm confused. Why would anybody prank themselves? <laughs> it's not a prank, Orange. They're doing it to help fight ALS. Hey. You stay away from Alice. She didn't do nothing to you. You tell him, Orange. Not Alice, A-L-S. It's a disease. People are pouring buckets of ice water on themselves to raise awareness and donate money to find a cure. Oh, well in that case, let the healing begin. Ha! Yo, dudes, what's going on? Ah! Oh, you jerks! I was just about to do the ice bucket challenge on my channel. Dude, stop being so selfish. Orange, you're doing this all wrong. Well, if helping a noble cause is wrong, then I don't want to be right. Yay! Oh, that's cool, baby. <laughs> Best charity ever. <laughs> oh, what? Whoa, what? Yeah! No! Oh, look at the water ripple on my muscles. <laughs> it's freezing. <laughs> One, just one, and then you are done. <laughs> <laughs> oh, suddenly I feel like I've learned the folly of my ways. Oh, can I do a do-over? No. Nah. So what happens now? Well, if you had done it right, you could nominate someone else for the challenge. But in this case, I think you'd better just cough up a donation. Good call. 
Bleah! Dude, gross! What? Don't they take Visa? <laughs> yeah! Uh... Hey, fruit lovers! Orange here with another super exciting challenge video! Today we're doing drum roll, please! The Try Not To Cry Challenge! Now, if you're not familiar with the Try Not To Cry Challenge, the gang and I are gonna watch videos here on this screen. If you cry, you lose! Get it? Got it? Good! Who dare challenge Orange the Great? <laughs> Me! Onion? Um, are you already crying? Yeah, honestly, I pretty much never stop. My eye is made out of onion, so... Yeah, I don't think you're gonna do very well at this challenge. <laughs> you're probably right. I'll just go. <laughs> ah, talk about a bottom tier competitor, am I right? <laughs> okay, who's next? Me. Grape, all right. I heard through the grapevine you're pretty good at this. <laughs> <laughs> well, you heard right. I like never cry. Well, that's good, because I brought in footage of wine being made. Uh-oh. Guys, get out of there. Don't go in that bath. No! No! <laughs> I'm sorry, Grape, but you're whining a little too openly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. You win. I'll leave. <laughs> Yo, what's up? Pear? Psh, please, you don't stand a chance. How could you? You have no legs to stand on. <laughs> har har. Seriously though, you cry at Freddy Fazbear like every day. This is gonna be so easy. Well, I admit, Freddy is super scary and makes me cry all the time, but fortunately for me, I get to go first. I brought in a compilation of kazoos being melted down. Oh no, all those beautiful kazoos and then being poured into molds to form dancing hippo figurines. No, that's the worst thing they could be melted down into. Are you gonna cry, Orange? Because next up is a bunch of fuses being removed from sticks of TNT. Oh no, you, you mean TNT will never be able to fulfill its destiny to explode? They can't stop, they can't stop. <laughs> it's too terrible to watch. <laughs> All right, I win! Who's next? I am! Get your handkerchief ready, Pear! I've got a real tearjerker! Bring it! Oh, I will! Yeah, as you can see, I brought in footage of a library that got demolished a while back! Think about it, Pear! I'm thinking about it. All those books! Yep, super sad. So sad, you probably want to cry! Not really. <sighs> Well, I was afraid it would come to this, so I made a couple additions for the video. Ah! <laughs> oh, that's not fair. <laughs> <laughs> and we're out of time. Little Apple is our champion. Climb up onto the top platform there, buddy. Um, I can't. It's too high. <laughs> More like the try not to laugh so hard you cry challenge. <laughs> Hey everyone, Pear and Orange here with the... Uh, <laughs> Orange? Orange, would you stop sniffing the markers? The video's starting. Nah, come on, Pear. I'm not actually sniffing them. How could I? I don't even have a nose. <laughs> Although, I suppose if I... <clears throat> Orange, stop drawing noses on your face and try to focus. Today we're doing the three marker challenge. Sounds fun, but I must ask you, what are the rules? <laughs> well, the rules are actually really simple. We have to do coloring book pages, but we only get to use three markers. We only get to sniff three markers? No one said anything about sniffing anything, Orange. Oh, huh. I guess I've been sniffing too many markers. <laughs> Hard to disagree with you there, dude. Now, let's get to it. What are we coloring for round one, deep voice announcer guy? For round one, we have this handsome picture of the whole gang. Awesome, so now we each get to choose three markers with our eyes closed. No peeking and no sniffing either, Orange. Fine. Okay, looks like I got pink, blue, and yellow. It's gonna be pretty tricky coloring the whole gang with just these colors. How about you, Orange? Couldn't be happier with my three colors. I got orange, orange, and finally, orange. <laughs> Whoa, you got three orange markers? That's... Annoying? 
<laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Ready, set, color. Having only three colors is really limiting. I can only imagine how hard it is for you, dude. Totally. I'd be green with envy over all the colors you have, except I don't have any green. <laughs> okay, I'm all done. How about you? Almost. And done. All right, here's mine. I think it turned out good, but definitely not great. Wow, why does it look like you have chicken pox? Yeah, that was a mistake. I thought I might be able to make myself green by coloring myself yellow and doing blue dots. Lesson learned. Apparently so. <laughs> okay, here's mine. Wait, hold on. What? I know, I know. As you can see, I wasn't able to get the right shade of orange for my shadowing. Really disappointed by how limited I was. <laughs> you, <laughs> what? Dude, how'd you get all those colors? By mixing three colors, obviously. Haven't you ever heard about primary and secondary colors? Dude, they're markers, not paints. How did you mix them? And never mind the fact that they were all orange. <sighs> Don't remind me. The deck was really stacked against me. That's why Little Apple was totally the wrong shade of red. Well, I'm so embarrassed. I'm just gonna toss this in the old fire. What the? What, the, what is happening? There, that's the shade of red I was trying to achieve for Little Apple. <laughs> no! Time for round two. This round you'll each be coloring pictures of yourself. Oh, well that's fun. Okay, I'm picking my markers and I got blue, brown, and red. And I got orange, purple, and green. Nice spread. Well, I'll say, what a relief. I can actually do something with these colors. Ready, set, color. Hey, Bear, I ever tell you the one about the colored pencil who got overused? No, tell me. Eh, I would, but it'd be pointless. <laughs> nah, okay, I'm done. Here's me. Ah, Pear, why so blue? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, again, it was pretty tough coloring myself without the green marker. How'd you fare? Eh, okay, I guess. <laughs> Orange, I, I'm speechless. I know, I know, the neck ruffles are way off. <sighs> well, this one earned a one-way ticket to Firetown. No, Orange, don't throw that away. You did that with markers? And only three markers at that? Oh, you don't have to keep reminding me. I know, it's terrible. Orange, I think it's amazing. You do? Yes, that's why I'm canceling round three. I'm canceling the rest of the episode. You mean, I'm fired? Yes, sorry deep voiced announcer guy. I'll hit you up later this week, but right now I want Orange to draw me. Wow, really? Yes, listen. I've been wanting a portrait of myself for a really long time, and I think you're the person to do it. And I can use all the markers? Yes, please. I want this to be good. Use any and every marker you desire. Okay, I put you on a king's body. Is that okay? Totally. And the background is all kingsy looking. Is that okay? Whoa, that's great. Looks incredible so far. And now for the, uh-oh, I ran out of green. Oh. Well, that's no big deal, right? You can mix them. Yeah, I mean, your face won't be the exact right shade of green, though. Dude, if it turns out anything like in round one, I'll be absolutely giddy. You got it. And done. Oh, let me see. Let me see. Orange, why does it look like I have chicken pox? What? I told you I ran out of green. So you put blue spots on my face like a kindergartner? You said you wanted it to look like round one. Your round one drawing, not my round one drawing. Oh, yeah, that makes more sense. <laughs> no! Um, Pear, I don't know if you want to put that in the fire. Why's that? You actually think it's a good drawing or something? No, it's because if the flames get any higher, they could light that conveniently placed stick of TNT. Huh? No, 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 quick, blow it out! Pear, get real! We're getting nowhere! There's only one person with enough lung capacity to blow out a fire this big! That's right! Too bad you fired him! Bye! Ah! No! <laughs> yo, 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 Green Lovers! Little Apple here! With your boy, Grapefruit! And today, we're doing the One Bite Challenge! Care to explain, Grapefruit? 
a gladly. And if you're not already familiar, the One Bite Challenge is all about eating stuff in just one bite. So Little Apple and I are gonna be pulling things out of our mystery box. Whatever we pull out, we gotta try to eat in one bite. Sounds easy enough. <laughs> For me, maybe, but I feel like you're gonna be at a disadvantage here, little guy. Well, I'm not so sure. My mouth is deceptively huge. <laughs> whatever you say, Little Apple, whatever you say. I'll go first. Okay, looks like we pulled out a chocolate chip cookie. Hmm, this'll be a close one, but I think I can do it. Here goes nothing. Will he? Will he? He did! <laughs> Ta da! <laughs> All right, so that's one point for Grapefruit. Now it's my turn. Let's see what the mystery box has in store for me. A normal sized castle. Huh. Well, this'll be interesting. Also, weirdly cannibalistic. Considering it's larger than your entire body, I think it's safe to say you won't be able to... Get it! What the? Little Apple, how did you do that? Ah, oh, pretty easy. I just unhinged my jaw like a snake and went to town. <laughs> your turn. You really want to continue? You're not, like, full? Me? No way. Well, I'm just getting started. Huh, okay. Well, I'm going to reach into the mystery box and grab a loaf of bread. <laughs> Uh, don't count me out just yet. Another rule of the One Bite Challenge is that I can do anything I want to the food before eating it. So there's a lot of air in the bread. I just gotta compress it. Wow! Smart! See? Ain't nothing to it. Easy peasy. Okay, my time to shine. Next up for me is... A watermelon! <laughs> Tough break. I figured we should include at least one impossible one just to keep things a little ah, impossible. Get it! What the? <laughs> Man, those things aren't very good with the rind included. <laughs> little Apple, you just ate an entire watermelon? Yeah. Man, I gotta stop glancing away when you eat these things. I feel like I'm missing out on some pretty incredible stuff. Okay, so it looks like we're all tied up going into the final round. That means it's time for a lightning round. Where we each eat as many things as we can in 30 seconds. <laughs> Sounds fair. Bring out the food cards. Okay, 30 seconds, identical menus. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This is a lot of food. I don't think we can eat all this. I'm getting pretty full. Me too, but just get through as much as you can. Ready? Go. <laughs> Done. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Dude, did you even eat the coin you coped me We shouldn't let good food go to waste. Now go right ahead. Wow. Wow. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just gonna leave before you decide to eat me too. No, we got dessert here, what? Hey everyone, Parrot Orange here. Today we're doing the pizza challenge. You like pizza, right, Orange? Of course. If you ask me, anyone who doesn't like pizzas is a real weird doll. <laughs> Here's how it'll work. We've got 10 mystery ingredients hidden inside these bags. Orange and I will each pick five. Whatever's inside our bags, we have to put it on our pizza. Then we gotta eat a slice, whether it's nasty or nice. <laughs> you wanna go first or should I? Me, I wanna go. Let me have these toppings. Okay, go ahead. Gimme, 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 gimme. Topping, 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 topping. I said you could go first. Yeesh, sorry, I didn't hear you. No ears. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go with bag number 10. Okay, what's inside? Extra cheese. Extra cheese? That's barely even a topping. Ooh, is somebody jealous? I'm not jealous. Yeah, uh -huh. look at yourself. You're green with envy. <laughs> I'm always green, dude. That's just what color I am. Okay, I'm gonna go with number five. Looks like I picked black beans. Is that even a pizza topping? Anything's a pizza topping, Pear, as long as it's on a pizza. Wow, thanks, dude. That was really deep. More like deep dish, am I right? <laughs> nah. Well, I guess I'm putting black beans on my pizza, even though they do give me really bad gas. Ah, quit your whining. Don't be such a party poo pair. <laughs> okay, mystery bag number three has pepperoni. Woohoo! So far, this challenge is a pizza cake. <laughs> I'll say, I just got pinto beans. These make me even gassier than black beans. What'd you get? Ooh, it's a good one. In all my life, I've never sausage a delicious pizza. <laughs> sausage? Why are you getting all the normal pizza toppings? Well, meanwhile, I'm getting 
Lima beans? No, oh, don't be mad, Pear. It's just a fun little challenge video. Try to have a good time. A rootin' tootin' good time. <laughs> oh. oh, man. I got one I'm not too excited about. It's about time. What'd you get? Anchovies? No, I got Parmesan cheese. Can you believe it? Wait, you got more cheese? Dude, that sounds delicious. Eh, I'll admit it's good, but not great. <laughs> get it? Parmesan? Great. Ugh, I got it. And I also got kidney beans. And I got bacon. Woohoo! Bacon? How is this fair? You have, like, every delicious pizza topping, and meanwhile, my pizza over here is looking like a bean museum. Relax, Pear. You still have one mystery ingredient left. Maybe it'll pull the whole pizza together. <sighs> I doubt it, but let's check it out. What is this? Tootie Toot 2000 X? Oh, maybe it's medicine that makes you stop farting. See, I told you it would all work out. No, no. It's actually the exact opposite. It makes you fart. Like, 2,000 times more than usual. <laughs> oh, man. Who packed these mystery bags? An American hero, that's who. Oh, can we please just put these toppings on and get the pizzas in the oven? I want to be done with this. Nah, don't worry, Pear. This, too, will pass. <laughs> oh. No. All right. Our pizzas are baked and ready to eat. Unfortunately for me, it's now time to eat an entire slice. Just one slice? I ate the whole thing. So yummy. You don't have to rub it in, dude. We know you got the better pizza. Your turn, Pear. Your turn to eat your pizza. I'm aware. Go ahead. Anytime. I will, okay? Now's a good time. Everyone's waiting. Okay. <sighs> Wait. This tastes different than I thought it would. What do you mean? I taste pepperoni and sausage. Orange, did you eat the wrong pizza? <laughs> of course not. How the heck would I mix up the... Oh. Oh, that's different. Orange? Pear, I need you to listen very carefully. I want you to get everyone and take them out of the kitchen. But, Orange... Listen to me. Get everyone outside, start running, and keep running. Get as far away from this kitchen as you possibly can. We don't have much time. Orange, you're kind of looking... Pear, this is not a drill. You need to listen to me and... No. Oh, it's too late. What? What do you mean? You've heard the term pie in the sky before, right? Sure. Well, you're about to see it and smell it too. Orange, I'm getting kind of scared. <laughs> ah! What up, fruit lovers? A to the O here with the whole gang. Say hey, everybody. Yo, hey, yo, yo, yo. Today, we're doing a never before seen challenge, the Scare Pear Challenge. <laughs> Cool. Sounds like a bundle of fun. It's a bundle of fun for sure. <laughs> Here's how it works. Pear's gonna sit his little hiney here and one by one, me and the gang are gonna take cracks at making him scream the loudest. We all excited to do this? Yeah! No. Then it's unanimous. Here's the Scare Pear Challenge coming at ya. <laughs> uh. Hi, Pear. Hey, Marshy. Sure. I mean, you could try. It's kind of hard to hug someone when you don't have any... Tentacles! Ah! <laughs> did I scare you? Yeah, kind of. How did you... Thanks, baby octopus! All of them for a friend! <laughs> Marshy, you've got some weird friends. Cute, but weird. The scare o -meter gave Bear Scream 75 decibels. Marshy takes the lead! Yay! Woo! I'm a scary girl! Yeah, you're something, all right. Aw, oh, man, are you really not scared? Sorry, little apple. Not scared at all. Nah, and to think I went to all the trouble of studying up on ghosts at the library before it burned down. Huh? The library burned down? No! <laughs> gotcha, Pear! <gasps> the library didn't burn down? Oh, thank goodness. That's 76 decibels. Congrats, Little Apple. You've moved into the lead by the smallest of margins. <laughs> Excuse 
excuse me, could somebody tell me what I'm doing here again? You're trying to scare me, Grandpa Lemon. Oh, I see. Well, I've got a little trick up my sleeve. Here, hold these. Uh, ew! Okay, I'll be back. Where is he going? Hello? Grandpa Lemon? Anybody? What the heck is going on? Where is everybody? Right here! Ah! <laughs> How did you do that? A magician never reveals his... Oh, good grief. The scare meter gave it an 85! Congrats to Grandpa Lemon, our new front runner! Thank you kindly! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> you don't stand a chance, bro. I brought the scariest thing of all time, a tarantula. I'm not scared of tarantulas. You, you're not? Even though they're huge and hairy and could eat you? Nope, but it seems like you are. Nuh-uh, uh -uh. I'm, I'm not scared of anything. Then open the cage. Maybe I will. Cool, so do it. I'm gonna. When? Soon. How about now? Don't rush me! Yo, what's with that guy? I don't know. Your guess is as good as mine. Oogie boogie, oogie boogie, boogie boogie, oogie boogie. Not scary. Ah, man. Okay, let me try a different mask then. Yeah, I don't think it's the mask. I think it's the fact that you're not doing anything surprising. <laughs> Orange! <laughs> <laughs> I so got you! What the? I put a mask on an orange ball! See? Ah! Oh, I'll admit, that was a good one! Thanks for the help, knife! You're welcome. See you tomorrow when I try to kill you for reals! Bye! Okay. And the scream meter agrees! That was 97 decibels, which means I win the grand prize! Well, I didn't know there was a grand prize! Yeah, what's the grand prize? This no! <laughs> what up, Fruity Toot? We got pear, we got grapefruit, and we got yours truly. Today we're gonna do the baby food challenge. Orange, if I may, I'd just like to clearly state up front that I am not a baby. I am not, and I never have been. <laughs> You've never been a baby? Correct. I was born this size. Sure, dude. I'm serious. Well, then your mother must have been huge. I would appreciate if we didn't bring my mother's size into this, but yes, she may have won a prize or two at state fairs in the mid-90s. <sighs> Alrighty then. Here's how the baby food challenge works. I'm gonna airplane spoonfuls of baby food into these guys' mouth one at a time. Orange, we agreed. No airplane noises. Right. Nah. You guys are just plain boring. <laughs> ah. That's fine, that's fine. No airplane spoons. But once the food is in their mouths, they'll have to guess the flavor. Every correct guess is a point. Well, let's do this thing. Pear, you're up first. Here goes nothing. <laughs> oh, this one tastes awful. Well, they're not all gonna be winners. What's your guess? Uh, I don't know. It tastes like no food I've ever had. Honestly, it tastes like a foot. Wow, you got it. This is foot-flavored baby food. Nice job, Pear, our early front runner. Wait, 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 wait. Foot flavor? Where'd you find such a gross-flavored baby food? I don't know, probably at the pooper market. No, <laughs> oh, I thought we were gonna be eating normal baby food, like sweet potato or banana. Yo, what you talking about? One of my best friends is a sweet potato. Yeah, my cousin's a banana. We're not murderous, Bear. We're just trying to do a fun little challenge video, got it? Okay, yeah, I got it. Good, this is a light-hearted challenge video, bro. Try not to ruin everything for once, would ya? Grapefruit, it's your turn. Hmm, I'm gonna say this is chocolate cake-flavored baby food. Ding, 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 ding! You got it! We're all tied up. Wait, wait, I'm sorry. He just got chocolate cake flavor? You heard my guess? You know very well it was chocolate cake flavor. I had to eat a foot, and he gets cake? Hey, relax. I'm sure it'll all even out in the end. <sighs> I guess you're right. Ready for your next food full of baby food, Pear? Fine. All right, here comes the airplane. Would you stop that? I'm not a baby. <laughs> okay, here you go. Ow. 
<laughs> wow, this doesn't taste good at all. <laughs> Whoa, Buff City. <laughs> what was that? It was baby food. What it tastes like. I don't know, because I barfed immediately. All I can taste now is barf. You, sir, are correct. The flavor was barf. And for that, you get a point. Hooray! Who is feeding these flavors to their children? He's fair. For someone who claims not to be a baby, you're sure acting like one. That's it. Orange, give Grapefruit the baby food you just fed me. I can't do that. He already knows the flavor. But I can give him this flavor. I think it's the best one of all. <laughs> right, fine. As long as Grapefruit understands what I'm going through. Here we go. Ew, this is, this is gross. Ha, you see? I, I totally understand now, Bear. I am so, so very sorry for what I said. Do you have a guess? Yeah, I'm gonna go with raspberry pie. <laughs> sorry, it was actually strawberry pie. Oh, that makes sense. What? He got strawberry pie? I just ate bark flavored baby food and he gets strawberry? Yeah, dude, I hate strawberries. Plus, he got it wrong, which means you win, Pear. I do? Yeah, you just won, two to one. Well, what? I guess that's pretty cool. What's my prize? A lifetime supply of baby food. Oh, come on. Also, it's bark flavored and you get it all right now. Huh? Ah!